Hello everyone and welcome back to The Longing. It is day 331. We have 330 days to go, 14 hours, 27 minutes, and 41 seconds, 40 seconds, 39 seconds, and etc, etc, so on and so forth. Decrease one every second for here on out till 330 days have elapsed. So as you can see, we're not in the Halls of Eternity any longer. Um, as I said at the end of the last episode, I, I was going to defer to the Council of the Beatles which is just one guy. And he said that I've probably gotten everything I can get out of the Halls of Eternity. So he said that he, as far as he knows, there's nothing at the end. Um, as far as he knows, there is no end. So right now we're just walking back home to see how our home has changed, what we can do there, uh, what, what, uh, how fast time is elapsing now when we get home. Um, I didn't want to spend too much time there off camera though, because if time is accelerating a lot, at like 10 times speed. I mean, I'm not going to get through, through, through 330 days in just a couple days here. I think the last time we played was the 24th. Um, and today is the 27th. Just the end of the 27th right now. We'll be seeing this on the 28th, I believe. So, uh, I just don't want to let too much time elapse. Because I don't know how long things are going to take us in the future. Um, we have a lot of projects to do around here still. We have, we have several things off the top of my head I can think of. We still have to figure out how to get in the library. Uh, but I think I'll have my own library at home right now. So I figure for the short time I'm on camera here, it's okay to uh, spend some time at home, let the time elapse a little bit, and we can, we can review some things. And then I can figure out where we want to go on the map next. Um, I got some ideas of where we can head to. But the one I want to go to is pretty far away. So I don't know how long it's going to take us to get there this episode. But we'll still do it. Um, so the time is going pretty quickly here. Let's see, four times. It's four times speed right now. But look at all the books we have. Holy cow. Look at all the books we have. Look at the horse head. Oh, man. It's such a quaint little house. I haven't made a bed yet. Um, let's sit down and read. Want to pop a book? Read a book. Let's see what we got now. We got Thoughts, The Goose Girl, Thus Spoke, Zarathustra, Moby Dick, Poems 2, uh, Metamorphosis, Metamorphosis, The Six Swans, Fables 1, Thus Spoke, Zatara 2, the Sequel, Amontadilato, I'm going to butcher every single word here, um, Thus Spoke, Zarathustra 3, and then we have the Iliad, 1 through 13, and then Nibblen Genlied, and then the Iliad, uh, 9 through uh, 17. So if we page through these things, I would really love to read the Iliad. I think it's a difficult read, but um, it might be fun. If I turn off idle reading, I believe the time goes fast. If I turn on it reading, what happens then? Yeah, it doesn't, I don't know. It seems like it's going faster. It's like minutes now. Yeah. Look how much faster the time's going. And when I click a page, especially. So if I click through it multiple times, it doesn't, it does only counts the pages once. So if I do want to read these things, which I might, um, not on camera, probably. But again, I don't want to spend too much time. Where does Iliad 3 pick up? All right, India, Iliad 9. Book 9. Embassy to Achilles. Where are we at in the story here? I know the story of uh, the Iliad pretty well. No, I'm not. I've never read it, though. I listened to a podcast that they did kind of a, a really cool podcast. It was all about the Iliad was totally told kind of as a storyteller's style. I mean, just like Homer would have done it, right? Um, he retold it with a modern kind of, not, like, mod not modernization, but he did it in a modern storytelling style. And he pieced everything together um, to make it a coherent story. Because I guess if you're reading the Iliad, I guess the, the books jump around a lot. If you want to read it chronologically, it's difficult. 
So if you're reading it through book one to book, you know, 17 or whatever, it's going to jump around in time a lot. Um, just because that's how the storytelling worked back then. So we have three crystals. We have some more paper to draw, and I have lots of paper to draw with now. Our bookshelves are not nearly full, though. We have to find the library to get this all the way full. Oh, we haven't got a fire going on anymore. I guess it does go out after a while. So we have moon. We have a... So if we choose our colors, we can choose what we want to make here. I have cave, father, myself, moon. If we add in white, we got the moon again. Weeping moon. Oh, gosh. We don't have yellow yet. Add in blue. Take away blue. There's some cool things here. I like the full moon one. That's kind of neat. Um, I don't want to... We have 28 pages to draw, though. 28. There's some cool things here. So, um, I'm not going to do that right now, though. Maybe we'll color a painting between episodes here. Again, I don't want to spend too much time in here. Can I do anything with the horse head? My curtains look very nice. Make music. Pick up. What is pick up? More coal. Okay. Can I look at my horse? Oh, I can. There. Now when I sit, I can have a horse right above me. That's fun. And I can move anything anywhere, it seems like. Well, I can move the... I know I can move the paintings around. Or at least place them. Or want to place them. Okay, so time's a waste. And let's get to where we want to go. Um, it's a long walk back here. Not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. Um, there is closer to where I want to go. Here, our spider friend, I believe. I believe that's where we're headed. I believe that's our spider friend. Let's go. Take a walk. Okay. So the spider was spinning a web for us uh, to get a ladder to climb up to a new region. And on the map, it looked pretty substantial. Like, there's a lot to explore there. Um, and Beetle started mentioning something to me, and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think I've been there yet, so... I let him... I mean, I shut him down. I told him, knock it off. I didn't ask for this. And, uh... He said, just go back up there. So, we're gonna do that. And I don't know if that's gonna get us to where the pickaxe is. From the map... And this will walk. We can take a look at the map while we're waiting on this. Um, let me pull it up here. On the map, it seemed like, um... There isn't a clear path to get back there. Let's take a look here quick. We never figured it out. I can't seem to get the uh, thing to open up here. I want to minimize this. There we go. Is it still going? Okay, it's still going in the background here. All right, let him walk. So let's pull up my map here in Photoshop. And... Alright, so we got it. Nope, it's not it. Why is it doing that? So that's my monitor. Oh, it's over there. Okay, I see. Um, let's get that back. One sec. Let's get back to our guy here for the moment. I'll figure this out. There we go. All right, let him walk for a minute, and then we'll uh, we'll he'll pick up some coal and that kind of thing. So I have the map I was working on originally here, which is uh, this guy here. It's a fairly large project, so it's all over the place. But I was piecing together a map like this originally. This insanity. 
And that was only the first couple episodes. Then we got to the official map in the game. And uh, this isn't even showing everything. Let's get back over to this guy here. So this is the one that shows everything. Zoom in on that so you can see it. Um, it's very blurry because this is the most zoomed out one we can get to. But we're walking through here and we're walking up to... Here, about here is where we encounter the spider, I believe. Maybe over here. No, this is where we encounter the spider. This is where we can get to now. So there might be more webs he needs to weave here. And I think we'll get up here and find out that's the case. Um, the spots I can't figure out how to get to. There's a spot down in here. We never figured out. There are some doorways. I don't know if we walk to these or not. I have to keep on walking this direction because it seems like it's a gap right there. I don't know. And then there is the... Um, where we ultimately want to get to is where the pickaxe is. Yeah, the pickaxe is right here, actually. It's unclear to see it right here, but this is the top layer. This is the bottom layer. So the bottom layer here we couldn't get to. No idea how to do it. Um, it's quite unclear of how to do that. There is a bunch of doorways here, but I don't know where any of them lead. If there's a door here someplace else, maybe we have to get to. Um, and then up here, this is where the spider was. This is where the spider was working right now. We might get over to here and find out there's more spots for him to work. So we'll have to wait and find out. Many paths to check out. And there's a big gap over here too. Um, and then we have this area over here, which we haven't seen at all yet. And I believe this area was the part that Beetle was telling me about. So we'll have to see if we can get over there today. Let's check in back on our dude here. See how he's doing. All right, we're still walking up. So right now we're in the ladder area. It's maybe we're making pretty good time. At the top of this, we'll find the, um, oh, we, we clicked him. Uh, at the top of this, we'll find the, uh, doorway to the spider. And then we got some things to check out once we get up there. All right. So that's the dumb, that's, that ends our Photoshop, uh, point of the game here of this video. I would love to get a higher res, uh, photo when it's all zoomed out, but that's as best I can do. And I can't really like zoom in on spots in the game here. So I can't really get a good clean the further, the further up in the map we are, the harder it is to get a clean shot of it. Cause you have to be so zoomed out. It gets very pixelated to the point. I don't know what I'm looking at anymore, but that's why my other method of making a map using the screenshots of each area, like doing a screenshot of this, and piecing it together, it takes a lot longer, but it will make me a clearer map. It looks like there's a path back here. That's interesting, right? That's something. I wonder if there's like a hidden door then. Like, where would that be? That has to be it. I wonder if like over here, because there is a spot like that on the on the uh, other other stairway like that. I just don't know where we would get to, how we would get to that back staircase. Like this year, this year, I want to check this out to see if there's a thing over this way. No. Okay. Just making sure. Like you never know those little, like little, like crannies like that. You know, you never know. You never know. Enter in the door. That didn't take that long to walk here. I was figuring like 10 minutes. Okay. So we're at this spot here. Um, I want to take a look and see if we can get down this way and see if we can explore this at all. This is not the way I need to go right now. We'll pick it up for good measure, because why not? Um, I wonder if I need more flint in order to make a fire. Like, does the flint get wasted? It shouldn't waste the flint to make a, make fire. It should just waste coal. So we never figured this out. I'm just going to keep walking and see if there's anything else over here. This is not where we're trying to go today. But I wanted to take a look and see. There is the overturned minecart there. And this leads me to the room above the Matok room. I'm just wondering what we can see. I think last time we were here, we couldn't see much. But I'm gonna make sure I walk all the way to the end here. 
Make sure there isn't some hidden path. That definitely looks like a dead end. Nothing's changed here, looks like. This one post is falling down a little bit. I wonder if that... Oh, look! Oh, look, it's cracking. It is cracking. If I stand here long enough, we're going to break through this. Now, I don't know how I get back up again. But this clearly seems like it's where I need to be. Okay. So now... We just stand on until it erodes. Again, I don't know how I climb back up again. But that seems to be what we have to do. This is neat. I love that. I love that you can just spot it from afar and tell. Like, there's a cracked thing here. It's got all the clues right there. If you're paying attention to what's going on around you, you can find things like that. Now, who knows how long this is going to take? Oh, it shifted. Um, I am a little concerned that I'm going to get seriously hurt when I fall through here. Seriously. I don't know. This is a long fall. But we'll wait it out. I mean... Obviously, it's the easiest job we've had here. But then, how do I get back up to my spider friend? Similarly, um, my whole point of getting into... my The reason I broke the pickaxe in the first place was to... Um, break through the glass of the treasure room. And I feel like... I want to do it again, but I don't want to break another one. I don't think I need some time to guarantee that we'll get through it on a second strike. It said it could take me a while to get through it, is what it said. It's very hard glass, but if I feel like if I go back and hit it one more time, it's just going to break. Like that's that's what's going to ha is what's going to happen. Unless there's another pickaxe to find here. I don't know, but I'm willing to wait this out now. That way, figure this one out. And then we have a couple doors to explore after we get through this, so it's not over there. We can get the matok. And then we can explore some doorways. Um, I, I, I poked through some of the achievements as well of things to try. If we if we run out of things to experiment with, that can be kind of our guide to uh, the rest of the game there. It looked like it was about to shift. How can I tell? Oh, it did. It did. Oh, nice. Um, I was just going to sit. Oh, you're going to get so hurt if this thing breaks through. We're going to get so hurt. But yeah, so I don't want to necessarily waste the Matok right away trying to break through that glass. Because if I walk down there and hit it immediately, there's a chance that it says, okay, you broke it now, but it might also break my pickaxe again and then I have to find another one. And I have no idea where that's going to be. There's still things to mine, I think. There could be crystals to earn. Still. I don't know. But I think we can get more than we have. And there's more too. Like I think I think if we if we um according to the achievements, it looked like there was a way to like mine our bedroom out. And I want to att attempt that once I have the math talk back. Like go against that back wall maybe and just try to mine it. That's one of the achievements. I don't know if it was a sarcastic thing or not. It's always the risk. That it's like I can't believe you tried that. You're being rewarded for playing playing the wrong way. That's how a lot of these games seem to operate. I read an interesting thing, an opinion piece, basically. I don't know if it was a Twitter or it was an actual article that they were referencing, but it was about how um, we've kind of, like, years and years of playing games has kind of broken the audience as far as, like, level design. Because now we've been playing games so long that we see things and we see the path forward and we see the obvious, the obvious path forward based on good level design and good guiding. Right? Like, you make a good level, it's going to tell you exactly where you need to go without, like, too much direction needed. There's no blinking arrows on the screen as there was in the past anymore. You just design the level in an inviting way to direct the player where they need to go. But then the converse of that is that, like, developers always put the cool collectibles or hidden objects they have to find or whatever off the beaten path. So as gamers, when you're playing a level, you're seeing the path that the game wants you to take. And then you immediately start looking for the path it doesn't want you to take. So it's kind of broken us now as a mentality of when you play through the game, you have the path forward and the path to secrets. And usually the path to the secrets isn't that interesting. It's just more hidden. 
and it's 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 oh it's really shaken now it's in a, such a way that it's like obviously more t hidden if that makes any sense like oh i see a path forward so there must be something i'm missing there must be some secret i'm, I'm bypassing by not looking around it's it's a it's a it's a difficult thing because you it, it you want to as a developer reward exploration in the games right <gasps> oh my god <sighs> that freaked me out okay um it looks like i can pick up the boards though i can take this wood with me Ooh, i'm gonna have a bed how do I make a bed though? How do I get? I, well, now I want to walk back against this. There we go. Nice. Okay. So now we get our mat talk, and it looks like could have picked up a coal there. Let's pick it up. Pick up. Nice. Handy matok, useful for harvesting minerals and breaking through fragile walls. Now, if I ever find a fragile wall, I'll be sure to use it. Maybe it's not a matok I need to use on whatever I'm going to be mining here. Okay, nothing that way. Okay. But I know from the map that if we walk the other direction, there's lots more to find. So, yeah, this is, this is a perfect example of that kind of thing, though. Like, there is the obvious path, and then there's the path that's less obvious. So, when you see an obvious path, you immediately start looking for the less obvious path. And it's got to the point where you're not fooling anyone anymore. So I don't know who's going to innovate on that. Like who's going to figure out the way to make that more interesting again. How do we get up there? Not that there is anything up there. But again. And in a game of exploration, it's 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 okay to just leave... In this case, you just bypass things you can't get to all the time. And you're like, okay, that's a way to go. I just have to figure out how to get there. Or I need to try everything or whatever. This is a different kind of exploration type game where that's about that. Um, but, I mean, it's true in any kind of, like, Metroidvania or platforming game or anything like that. Like, do we go to the first door or the second door? Let's try the first one here first. I'm curious where it's going to take me eventually. Because there's got to be a... Well, I guess I can go back the way I came. Seems like there's a, some valuable mineral hidden in the walls. Okay, so this is going to be a mining situation. This could be like the sulfur. Like the yellow one? Strange smell. This wall is not very hard, but a strange smell is emanating from it. So this shouldn't take very long to mine. We should get the yellow um, chalk then. I guess yellow chalk would be um, sulfur, probably. That's what the smell we're smelling. And I probably should pick up a couple pieces of it. Which means I have to mine. After I get through one of these, I have to do a couple more. Um, this is going pretty quickly compared to the other mining stuff, though. That's that's something. At least this is only going to take us maybe a couple minutes. But yeah, so, so when level designers design now, they design so that they know people are going to look for the non-obvious path. And like a lot of times, like achievements will rely upon it. There's... There's basically like you're you have a path of rewarding the player for doing things that are non-standard in the game. And it used to be we used to just do those things. And now we have to, we know when we get achievements to push us forward with that. Or, you know, whatever. A piece of sulfur smells horrible, but I'm sure I'll find a way to use, make use of it. We have the colorful stones achievement. Um I could use this again to pick up another piece just to be sure that we have a couple of drawings we can make with it. I want to get one of each color, right? Or a couple of each color so I can do some more drawings with it. Um, we need more lapis to make... Uh, there is there is a... Um, there was a third level flame, wasn't there? I don't know. How much should I mine right now? I'd probably just do a couple. I could always walk back here if I decided any more. I mean, it probably wouldn't be the most interesting thing to just sit here mining sulfur the entire day. But then again, most interesting is kind of uh, a moot point at this one. When I've spent two episodes walking through the Halls of Eternity. So now I can do anything. Like this is this is infinitely better. We're making progress on something today. Not that we weren't. We were picking lots of books. Oh, did I stop him? Shoot. Okay, he's halfway there. Good. I like that it doesn't like make you start over. That's fantastic. He's somehow mining the exact same rock he was before. I don't know how he does it. He's just really good in what he does. 
So he said he was almost halfway there, and then he'll be almost finished in a second. This is only taking a minute or two. And then we can head back out, and there's a second door to go through. All right, pick it up. All right, we got two sulfur then. Okay, I'm okay with that. Should we check the other side, make sure there's nothing over there? It's probably the same thing. Let's see what he says. Anything? Okay, same, same deal. Let's not worry about it then. Let's get back out of here. I want to check out the other path here. I'll feel if I can find that tweet again. I forget who, who posted it, so I'll probably never find it. But it's pretty interesting. It's interesting concepts they're working on there. So we have the secondary door. Now on the map, this one looked like it was going to a... A smallish room with a lower part to it. This might be the old coal mine. I'll need plenty for my fireplace at home. Oh, this is where I can just mine coal. What exactly can I do here? Well, yeah, pick it up. I have 38. I have plenty for my fire at home. Use Matox. So this is mining the coal. It's going to take a while, but I'm sh but I'm not I'm not the strongest. But uh, luckily, I have plenty of time. So this will mine coal. Uh, it happened very quickly there, actually. Is there something that's going to happen here? When it says this is going to take a while, I'm not the strongest, but luckily I have plenty of time. Is he not? Is he talking about us mining coal, or is he talking about something else? Like, is there a path here? That's my concern. I'm just going to let it go for a minute here, just to see if he has any other sayings, because I feel like this room doesn't lead anywhere. And picking up coal from this doesn't seem like a useful endeavor. But if it mines us through to something new that wasn't on the map, that's something. And I could just let him be. Check back in with him next episode. If we decide this is not going to happen today. If he pops up anything else... I also want to get to the spider, though, and we're kind of running out of time for this episode. But at least we'll be up here when we start again, so I won't have to walk so far to get back where I need to go. In theory. And maybe this is going to open up a shortcut someplace. And this game doesn't really do shortcuts too often. The fact that he hasn't said anything at this point yet. I don't know. I don't know. Because could this be anything? I mean, eventually, maybe he's going to, like, extend the tunnel down. And then open up a doorway someplace. I'm curious what the, the, the wooden beam up there is supposed to be about. If that's anything. I've made very little progress. Okay, so we're about a quarter of the way there, then. Um, and that took us about a minute or two. So that's not too bad. What's well, about a minute? So this is only be five minutes. Um, we can we can we can wait it out and find out what's gonna happen here. If anything, I'm not gonna stop to pick anything up right now. We can always pick it up at the end. I have plenty of coal on top of that. I don't need it. So we have to build a bed somehow. I don't know how we are just gonna do that. It's not like we have a crafting table to go to. It just might be like, oh, this is a good spot for a bed, and then. Put it together. I feel like we need like a blueprint for a bed or something like that, but the game hasn't presented blueprints as a thing in this yet, so I have no idea if that's gonna be a thing. Um, yeah, pretty cool. So I figure we have. Let's see. I don't know how many episodes we've done yet. Uh, I don't want to really put a finite number on the episodes gonna take us, but I do think once we get up to the, like, if we can get up to the point of like a times ten countdown. And it might even go faster than that. Plus, I could spin through all the books and get time going even faster. Like, it was going minutes at a time then in a matter of seconds. So I could spend an episode getting, you know, just through all the books. Or just do a reading situation. Let's just read something. I don't know. I don't think I would actually... I mean, despite having walked through the Halls of Eternity for a half hour twice, 
Um, I don't know if I have the the wherewithal. It'll just be a lot of just reading. It'll be kind of boring, I think. Like ram listening to me ramble is more interesting somehow. More interesting for me, I suppose, because I don't know what's gonna come out. Neither do you. That's the fun part. But if there's text on the screen and I'm just reading it, so what? I don't know. That's where I'm at. But we'll make some progress through the wall here. If there's anything here to find. I mean, what else could be here? My hope is that it's a shortcut back downwards. I'm not even halfway there. So we're, you know, we're, what did I say? At the quarter before, before my dive at a quarter. Right now it might be a quarter. Let's say two fifths, 40% of the way there. Maybe, maybe not. No, no, no estimate. But we do know he pops up four things, right? He says, I am halfway there. And then he says, um, making progress a little further. And then it's the end. So this is the halfway point is um, to the messages. It's a long gap between the messages at the end there, I think. So Beetle shared a photo with me of uh, someone had done of what this guy uh, looks like. I guess it was a buff version of him. It's pretty funny. Um, let's see if I pop it up really quick while we're waiting on this guy. Let me see. Let me see. There we go. So this was the image that uh, Beetle sent to me on um, the other day here. So there we go. This is this this is how this guy actually looks like. It's got the low definition of uh, you can't really see because it's pixel art hand drawn. They couldn't really get all the definition in there. But this is what he actually looks like. Makes a lot of sense, right? You see the resemblance? Totally. So yeah, that's that's uh, pretty great. <laughs> yeah. So he's played through this entire game, I think. I think, but I, I clocked. I checked his clock on it and it said he's been playing for twenty five hours. Now I know he did leave it idle sometimes. So he might not actually been playing it that much. Um, I don't think it'll be that many episodes for us to do. That's like 50 episodes if I'm doing it half an hour at a time. So I don't think it's going to happen that way. At some point, I might just be passing time inside the house. And I think that's how this kind of series is going to end. He's halfway there right now. Okay, we'll let him We'll let him go to figure it out here. Um, I feel like the series is going to end once we've discovered everything, gotten the achievements we can get. Um gone everywhere we could possibly go i will just go into my home i will draw and read until the time has elapsed keeping a close eye on it and then we'll have to get into the countdown situation of timing it out so we can get to the timer running out on camera which might take a little bit of effort because if i'm on the speeding clock going through quickly um i don't miss anything you know I want to be in, I want to be at day 400. When the, time, when the time expires, I want to be sitting there in front of the king. That's the goal. And if I let the clock, that's why I have, That's why when I go into the home every single time, I'm always looking at the clock to try to figure out what the, what the multiplier is currently. Like it was point, it was times four for the idol sitting there. And if I light the fire, I'm going to go to times five. And if I read a book, it's going like, like times a hundred almost, uh, maybe more. So reading the books will let me get the number down lower. But then I got to start calculating out how long I need to let it sit. And this is all like once we've done everything I can do. So it's not going to happen anytime soon. I'm sure we have a bunch of episodes before that happens. Um, and I would like to do these more often, but I think my schedule of like every three days or so is pretty, probably pretty good. It's a schedule that I can keep up with. And I, I mean, it's, it's the longing. There's no rush on it, you know? I just enjoy it. I enjoy our conversations. These one one-sided conversations. Speaking of one-sided conversations, I should say I will be getting back into Twitch, I think, in May. Um, I don't know the days yet. I'm thinking like a Tuesday, Thursday thing. Kind of depends on a lot of factors, but uh, I might go back. I was doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday before, and that was too much. I might go Tuesday, Thursday. Just try to do two nights a week. Um, just playing random stuff, I think. Not like this. Not like... I can't really only do two days a week. I can't really play anything with the big narrative arc, but I'll try to stick to things I can finish in a single playthrough or things that are, you know, roguelikes or, you know, things that don't require a big progression that needs to take 40 hours to do. 
that kind of thing's not possible doing two days a week. It just, just doesn't work that way. Even though there's tons of games I would love to play on the stream. Um, it just doesn't work for me as far as my schedule goes. But that's what we'll, uh, I'll make some more official announcements back when I have a better idea. And it'll be, it'll be late night stream. So people are always complaining that it start too late, but it's, it's kind of what has to happen. Starting at like 1030 or something like that, maybe central time. Um, which is only 830 Pacific time. Depends on your time zone, right? Not everybody can make it and that's fine. I understand. That's why I like to put up YouTube content and have both things going. If you can join me over on Twitch. That's fine. If not, no big deal. So look for that coming in May. Um, probably starting maybe on the 5th, which is also my birthday. So it's a good time to start. I think maybe I'll start, maybe I'll start, uh, I mean, I'm running out of time for, for April at this point, right? Friday the 27th, almost the 28th, uh, 30 days in April means it's the first on Friday. So yeah, Tuesday might be the first night of my schedule anyways. So it might work out that way, but we'll see what happens. Um, almost finished. There we go. See, didn't take long, but that's the plan. I have to talk it over with the missus too. Got to get my streaming schedule approved and all that. So the forms and such to, uh, Approve that time off. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But she does, like, normally if I start early, she has to put the kids to bed by herself and that kind of thing. So it like, takes a lot of responsibility on her part to get me to stream earlier. So that's why I was thinking if I start late, kids are asleep, everything like that. The wall, the wall finally gave up its minerals. What did it drop? A big cold nugget worth five lumps. Oh, that was not worth it at all. That was just... That was just plain not worth it at all. Great. I'm so glad I spent that all that time getting five nuggets of coal oh, that I have already. All right, let's go to the end of this hallway. Just make sure there's nothing else there. I don't think there will be. Uh, let's see. Is this another disappointment situation? No, not disappointment. Just not ready to go. Okay, so let's set the sulfur room as a destination now because... Um, then I can come back here easily just by walking automatically. I'll just guide myself right to it. So let's get back in here, set the sulfur room as a point of interest. And I actually probably, I was concerned about running out of these, these bookmarks, but this hasn't happened yet. I'm getting close. And there's some that I can get rid of. Like I probably don't need to go over here anymore for the halls of eternity. Uh, I probably am good on those. I can probably overwrite some of these now. Like this one here, I could overwrite. I mean, we'll put the sulfur room there. Um, that spot, I'm not sure where it's guiding me to. This one with the matok. I mean, I don't need to mark that anymore either. So I can mark the sulfur room as that. And then, then, it's, then I get there at least. And then we get back to the spider. So we will walk to the, uh, the spider then. And um, I will pick up next episode. We'll be visiting our spider friend. And seeing how he's doing, I think. That's the plan there. So we'll keep going up up to the top here. And explore what we can up there. See what we're missing as far as um, that region goes. It looks like there's going to be some things that take some time there, most likely. So I don't know how much we'll get to next episode. But we'll see. Worst case scenario, we find a crystal of mine or something like that. That'll fill the time. Actually, I need to figure out how to get up there. Right? That's something strange. Like, what is that about? And there's no comment on this area. Normally, if there's something to do with it, he comments on it. Of course, then again, with this part, he didn't. So, who knows? But anyways, that's going to do it for this episode of The Longing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I'll be back in a couple days for another one of these. Maybe not too long of a wait in between because I really want to see what happens with this spider friend. But it should be good. And uh, stay tuned. I'll let you guys know about streaming. If anybody's interested, let me know. I will uh, try to do it a couple nights a week again, starting in May. And other than that, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys next time for more. Have a good night.